Hi, everyone. This is Jonathan Marks from New Brain Nutrition and Eat to Be Nice. I'm here today with Anique Huberts Bosch, and she's a PhD candidate at Character Child and Youth Psychiatry University Center at Nijmegen, the Netherlands. And she also works in the TRACE project and specializes in ADHD. The TRACE study is a two-armed randomized control trial comparing the short and long-term effects of an elimination diet and a healthy diet in children with ADHD. So Anik, it's great to have you here. Give us an update. Where are we on the TRACE project today? Thank you. We are done with recruiting participants for the TRACE study. So uh, a lot of children participated in the TRACE study, a total of 224 children. 84 children followed the elimination diet, 81 followed a healthy diet, and then and 58 children followed care as usual. So for example, medication. So for of all these children, we uh, collected a lot of data uh, on their, uh, about their behavior. So uh, ADHD symptoms, emotion regulation. Uh, we collected data about parental well-being, uh, the physical health of these children. We also collected a lot of biological data, so blood, saliva, and stool samples. And a subsample also received a brain scan. Now we are uh, starting to analyze all of these data to answer all the different research questions that we had. So that's really exciting. So Anik, that's great. You've told us the methods. What's the aim of the study? Well, the main goal is to examine the effects of both dietary treatments on ADHD and emotion dysregulation symptoms after five weeks and after one year. So that's the main goal. But we have a lot of data. So also want to see whether uh, both diets have the same effect or is one diet maybe more effective than the other? What are the effects of dietary treatments on physical measurements or parental well-being? Are these dietary treatments as effective as care as usual? Is it doable to follow a diet, a strict diet for a longer period of time? Yeah, yeah, we want to see if we can predict which child maybe could benefit from a diet. So a lot of questions. Great. So can you describe the elimination diet briefly? Sure. Research has shown that that certain uh, behavior problems uh, could be provoked by certain types of foods. So the elimination diet uh, involves a five weeks uh, total change of diet in which uh, the child is only allowed to eat a few different hypoallergenic foods. And then after five weeks, if there is a um, substantial reduction of uh, symptoms, then all these foods get introduced again step by step to see which food is maybe a trigger for this child. And that could take up to eight to 12 months. So that's quite a long time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's also one of our research questions. How doable is it to follow such a diet over a longer period of time? And does it weigh up against yeah, the effects? So Anik, describe for us what kinds of foods are eliminated in the elimination diet? Well, uh, different types of food are eliminated. Uh, for example, proteins from milk, egg, uh, wheat, fish, soy, uh, peanuts, uh, chocolates, and also uh, artificial colorings. And sugar is not eliminated completely, but it's uh, greatly reduced. It is quite strict, yeah. But uh, beforehand, we already screen uh, participants and inform them, of course, and see whether it's really doable for uh, this family. Also to prevent uh, yeah, that, that they fail so that the child has another yeah, failing experience. We don't want that, of course. Got it. And when do you expect to get the results for the TRACE study? Uh, we'll have the short-term data uh, this fall, so the fall of 2021, and uh, we have the data of the long-term uh, data in March 2022. Great, and you'll be publishing two separate papers, one for the short-term and one for the long-term. Yeah, correct. Great. This is very exciting. So we're going to learn more about what foods to eliminate and what kind of effects it has on ADHD symptoms, correct? Yeah. yeah. Good. That's very exciting. And it's, this is really original research we're doing here. And mm -hmm. I want to thank Anik 
Hubert Spoch, who is a PhD candidate at Character Child and Youth Psychiatry University Center in Nijmegen, the Netherlands. And again, she's working on the trace elimination diet. Thanks so much for being with us, Anik, today. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for inviting me. Thank you.